What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Bee Gees, as well as a very sleepy Luca, who apparently just woke up. And yeah, we're going to go to the next tune on Odessa 1969, and the tune is Black Diamond. And I made a joke at the end of the previous reaction that it made me think of skiing, because I think some of the most difficult courses are referred to as Black Diamond, and some sort of rating system. Nevertheless, I don't expect it to have anything to do with that, but I was thinking about the title as I went to shoot this, and the the contrast of, you know, when you think of a diamond, a sort of highly um, valued, and at least, you know, by the aesthetic appraisal of many, it's a um, elegant and beautiful item. So it has a very um, powerful lure, but obviously the color palette seems backward, or reversed and that it's, you know, this clear shining object, whereas something that's black, it doesn't reflect any light. It's, you know, um, in a way deadened, or at least, you know, the term black, like a black heart, it would mean a heart that isn't pumping blood or has no feeling. So black diamond does sound like it has a bit of contrast to it. And I wonder if it is sort of a, um, there's a tension in the way something is being described. And I wanted to comment uh, that you'll never see my face again. Uh, a number of people mentioned that they feel like some of the tensions which would result in the group breaking up um, in the future, um, not too far after this, um, are perhaps expressed in some of the lyrics and like maybe that song in particular. So that was in my mind at after I read those comments and as I went to shoot this video, I, it did come back to me again. So. Um, not to say that I expect that'll be a facet of each and every song, but obviously, um, given what people were saying, you know, I think uh, there's probably something to that. So let's listen. This is the Bee Gees, and the track is Black Diamond from their 1969 album Odessa. And once again, shout out to Amy for sending this, and I have more information on that after the song.
going to be able to remember everything I want to say here, but I just, like, I couldn't find a moment to say something without, like, you know, either stepping on something that I was hearing already or just the general feeling like the tune was continually opening or expanding, like, you know, sort of like a flower, but also the, the power, the intensity of it just kept uh, rising and the emotion of it was swelling. So uh, just the, the composition in terms of the, the scheme or progression of the tune, even before, you know, I talk about the, like, those epic supportive backing vocals or the way that the lead vocal just kept getting more intense. Is that Robin? Uh, I do uh, still like uh, hesitate to be certain about it because I know there's moments where when they harmonize it's like you know it just feels like it's this singular vocal um, palette but yeah um, was that Robin on the lead but the the way in which the lead vocal just kept getting bigger and more uh, emotional and powerful and more um, expressive it was incredible and ultimately it was weird because the the opening verse seemed to be in first person then the second verse seemed to switch it to th like third person but with maybe a very similar story you know leaving in the morning and all the things that I thought we had heard in the previous verse um, and then it, like I felt like the black diamonds was like if he gets home and his woman isn't there then, you know, there'll be black diamonds waiting for him, and maybe instead of white ones, I'm not quite sure, like, if I was hearing that right, because, again, the sonics were just continually, you know, seizing my brain to a greater and greater degree, to where, again, I, like, couldn't find a moment to actually say something. But the building of the tune to this big, open crescendo uh, was incredible. So, uh, yeah, pretty much stunned by that one. But it found, it felt like the... Black Diamonds, the idea of it representing the opposite of what it would normally be, or a deadened version of it, maybe seemed somewhat relevant by the end, but at the beginning I was thinking, oh, I got it totally wrong, like he's saying how in love he is, and so on. So, again, not sure how that all fits together thematically, but another incredible tune. And it's funny, like, you know, tensions in the group, and, um, you know, hearing about different bands and different deep dives, and even some, you know, I just did a documentary watch along for a punk band I'm fond of and talking about like personnel changes and stresses and tensions within the band over time I get how that's you know behind the art and the creativity they're real humans and there are real concerns and real lives that they're living so um, it's incredible that the art they were putting out even as they were on the verge of um, fracturing uh, is of this incredible quality which is funny because again I know um, having heard uh, Amy and others talk about how this album wasn't quite what they wanted it to be by the time it was, you know, finalized and released. Uh, but so far, I'm really impressed. And as I said, uh, and Luca wants to hear this too, despite being very sleepy, yawning as I say that, um, we do have new uh, Bee Gees on the way. So, Amy, big shout out to you again. She's sending us the To Whom It May Concern album from 1973. So, yeah, very well um, appreciated, and she's saying that it's a farewell to the old Bee Gees because it marks an end of, of an era for the group in several ways. Last album to be recorded at IBC Studios in London, last with conductor and arranger Bill Shepard, uh, and also, um, yeah, that he was the one who's been doing the string arrangements for this album. So, once again, major sh Oh, and it is Robin! Yay! I wasn't wrong. Um, she mentioned that Black Diamond, the lead, is Robin, so I feel uh, like I can uh, breathe a sigh of relief. Do let me know what you think of this incredible tune. Shout out to Amy, to Lisa, uh, to Kim, to Adam, uh, and all the people following um, the Bee Gees Deep Dive, as my brain continues to be a bit befuddled by the incredible tune I just heard. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Peace.